So, wir sind hier auf der Messe, erster Messetag auf der CeBIT. Ich bin ja mittlerweile ein Spezialist, um Roboter zu interviewen. Beim letzten Mal hatte ich ja extrem viel Glück. Der Roboter hat keine einzige Frage beantwortet, aber 100.000 Fragen gestellt. Jetzt haben wir hier von Elemental Path einen Roboter, ein Dino, der insbesondere für vier bis siebenjährige geeignet ist. Und bei mir ist der Gründer von Elemental Path, John Paul. And we have to switch to English now. So, John, please tell me, how does this Dino work? Uh, we believe that the cog toy, Dino, is the smartest smart toy that's ever been created. Now, there's a little bit of hyperbole with that, but the way that it works is that it's a connected device. The, the dinosaur itself, goes on to Wi-Fi. And then as you press the button on the belly, you actually speak to it. It processes it, it understands what you've said, and it tries to come back with an intelligent response. And that could be uh, just a flat fact question, it could be a game, it could be counting, spelling, but it could also be uh, things that children like, like knock-knock jokes and, and rhymes and things like that. Okay. Uh, so basically it's connected to the cloud and wherever, so what you do have or what you should have is a good connection to the cloud and I expect that we don't have a good connection here on CBIT. <laughs> yeah, the, the network at CBIT is a little bit rough, um, but yeah, we, we can make do it what we have. Uh, it, it doesn't require that much, but it does need Wi-Fi to work. Because, um, I mean, the, the, the toy itself is uh, very simplistic, but the cloud portion of it is very, very complicated. That's where we use uh, IBM Watson for uh, fact-finding and uh, the, the general knowledge base of the toy, but also then the, all the personality, all of the things, that, the interactions that you've had with it, that's all stored there. So that way, over time, as you play with the dinosaur, the dinosaur really gets to know you, and it knows the best way to give information back to you. Um, it was said that the dinosaur is kind of self-learning. What does this mean? It means that uh, the more interaction someone has with the dinosaur, uh, the better it understands like the, the child themselves, the, the user. So uh, in conversation as it comes up that the child likes pizza or that they play soccer or um, you know, their favorite colors are green and blue, mm -hmm. the dinosaur will learn these things mm -hmm. and it will use that information in exercises. So if you mention that you like soccer, then in a counting game, instead of just abstract numbers, it'll count soccer balls so that way there's a level of interest. Okay. Yeah. Um, we do know Watson and uh, Watson was playing in Jeopardy and uh, that was very very amazing what he did uh, is this working kind of a bit like Watson so if for example I would ask him who is Thomas Jefferson could he give me an answer uh, yeah it, w it would search through We have it set up a little bit differently for the, the, the Jeopardy Watson instance was massive. It was huge. It, it tried to have as much information as possible. What we did was we have a smaller subset of information that's uh, particularly curated for children. It's uh, child-friendly answers. Uh, figure, you know, the things that a four, five, six, seven-year-old would ask. Um, so that there's a depth of information if they still want to keep asking questions, but the answers themselves are uh, very simplistic. Uh, so, it, in terms of the flat fact, it does have information that you'd find in, say, like an encyclopedia, but it's made more bite size. Uh, could you please explain what's inside this little dinosaur? <laughs> sure. Uh, this is actually uh, the origin of the species. This is the first prototype. And um, this is actually the development board that we're, we're using right now to, to rapidly prototype through things. Uh, this allows us to change the uh, firmware on it uh, regularly each time we make changes. But um, for the final hardware, you won't have to update the firmware. As a connected device, uh, all of the fun stuff happens on the cloud. The, the software gets imprinted once and then never again. So you don't have to worry about messy firmware upgrades or the thing um, breaking because of an improper upload or something. As uh, soon as this board is uh, connected onto Wi-Fi, that's it, it's done. And uh, all the interaction is by pressing the, the button on the belly. So, jetzt wollen wir mal mit dem Kleinen reden und wie das immer so ist, ähm, soll der Vater mit ihm reden, weil mich kennt er nicht so, nachher antwortet er wieder nicht und deswegen wird jetzt John Paul mal demonstrieren, wie das funktioniert. Okay, John, it's your turn. Okay, hello. What's up? Nothing much. All right, same here. Can I ask you a question? 
Okay, what would you like to know? What is IBM Watson? IBM Watson is a cognitive computer that speaks English, just like you and me. It also plays a mean game of Jeopardy. Okay. Uh, how far is it from New York to Hanover? It thinks about it. Three thousand eight hundred and forty-one miles. Uh, how far is three thousand eight hundred and forty-one miles in kilometers? Thinking about it. <laughs> Six thousand one hundred and eighty-one kilometers. I'm done. Okay. I hope you learned something. See you later, alligator. Bye for now, brown cow. <laughs> That's it. So as we could see, this guy is really working, and I like it a lot, and so. Um, I hope that it will be available in Germany too for $99 and it's really fun, it's really fun for kids and this is my first interview with a dinosaur. Thank you very much John Paul, having you here and uh, we see us on CBIT again next day. Bye.